Okay, so this is what your this is what your note sheet looks like, and we're going to be drawing. <coughs> we're going to be drawing a water molecule on the back of this note sheet. Now, there's a certain amount of information that you need in order to draw uh, this water molecule. <coughs> Sorry, one of them. <clears throat> <clears throat> One of them is the chemical formula for water, which is H2O. And then we need the information about the hydrogen and the information about the oxygen or the characteristics of hydrogen and oxygen. What I've done is I have... Sorry, I've copied and pasted a little picture of hydrogen and oxygen and what they look like on a periodic table. And the information that you see here uh, shows you the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Now, the number up at the top of the little square is called the atomic number, and that is the number of protons. And that number should also equal the number of electrons, unless you're dealing with an ion, and, and we're not. So your protons in your nucleus are going to have a positive charge. <coughs> so then your number of electrons out in the energy levels or the orbitals, wherever you want to call them, they uh, have a negative charge and they e need to equal the number of the protons that are in the nucleus. So they're equal. And then at the bottom, there's another number, and sometimes it has a decimal place, sometimes it doesn't. So for hydrogen, this other number is 1.008, or sometimes you might see it as 1.00794, and for oxygen, it's 15.999, or sometimes you might see it as 16. So the number at the bottom is the atomic weight, also might be referred to as the atomic mass or the mass number, and that number equals protons plus neutrons. So you can take that number, like 1.008, subtract the number of protons, which is 1, and that gives you the number of neutrons in hydrogen. Now, that is unless you're dealing with an isotope. So an isotope has a different number of neutrons than what you see on the periodic table. So if we go over to oxygen, it's 15.99999. We subtract 8. Uh, we're pretty much going to end up with eight. So with hydrogen, we have one proton, 0.00794 neutrons, and one electron. For oxygen, we have eight protons, neutrons, and electrons. And that's really the only information that we need in order to draw our water molecule.